Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a rolling arch day for my brother's car, uh, which was featured in the last vid as the chase car or the camera car, whichever one you call it. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to roll arches. So the two tools you're going to need are heat gun to heat the arches to make the metal a bit softer and the paint a bit softer. And a roller. You can buy these for cheap, but you can also rent them. So have a look into it and let's start the rolling process. Okay, first port of call. Gotta get the wheel off. So trusty jack. With it for the jack. If you've got locking alloys, your alloy key for your nuts. And you're getting your nuts off. We all like to get our nuts off, don't we? Anyway, I've chose these particular tools because these are what come with the car. And if you don't have specific tools, these are the tools you can use that should be available to you with any car, really. And um, obviously, every car comes with a jack, so why not use it? Show you how it's done. So, let's begin. Every car has this jacking point. Find it, get the jack on it. And this is what I normally do. A couple of turns. Right, so a couple of turns. And then we just get nuts off. And obviously this is quite small. This is quite small, so it's going to take a bit of brute force to get this off. Hopefully they're not on too tight. Bit of brute force. So you literally just slacken them off. Don't take them completely off. And jack the cow pull it. I don't remember. Put it in first gear because we're lifting the rear up. So the handbrake will be not as not as useful. And then commence with the upping of the car. To do is height wise and we're going to let the handbrake off because we need the wheel to be free so we can move the roller around you can let the handbrake off but make sure you've got some chocks on the front wheels under the front wheels to stop it rolling forward and then once that's free we can uh, get busy Okay, now the wheel's off, I'll show you which bit we're going to roll. Okay, so this is what we're going to be rolling. See this lip here? It's already caught the arch here, as you can see. Let's so get that focused in. This little bit here, it's come out, you can see, because it's hit on the wheel. But basically, we're taking that whole this whole lip here is flush and we're going to bend it up that way with the roller so from, from there all the way down as far as we can which will probably be to about here and that should that should give us enough room yeah so let's, let's start the rolling process and warm her up okay we're now ready to uh, hook the roller up so 
This was dead easy. It's got multiple stud patterns on it, so it'll fit anything. And you get these little washers with it. I'm only going to use three tops. You just use your wheel nuts. Get it on there. You don't really need to nip these up. Yeah. Just do it hand tight, that's enough. Yeah. And then on the first couple of passes, you need to set the wheel up. Yeah. So, you'll wind it out. Like so. And then we need to adjust this wheel to be a bit more flat. Because obviously, the the first rub of it is flat, so we need to ease it gently. So we'll get under that. Let's go in a bit so we can get the, get the angle right. This, it is a bit of a faff, this bit. To get it started. But once you go in, we'll get we'll be good. Just get it on the inner lip. So it's just touching it. Yeah. And then we can wind it out a bit. You feel a tiny bit of pressure. Yeah. Should be enough. And we'll take our trusty heat gun and just heat up this whole area that we want to start rolling. Obviously you don't need it red hot, it just needs to be warm to the touch. That's that's warm enough. And then literally just take a pass through and you come to a bit of resistance. Roll it gently. Keep an eye on what's going on as you're rolling it. So obviously this part of the art has come out a bit, so we've shown the most resistance so far. Keep going. Some more heat here, which is the bit that's sticking out the most. with it so don't be forcing it just I'm basically using the weight of the wheel really to do this ok 
Okay, so that's the first pass. We've got it to about here, which is more than enough. We've gone past where it was, where it, the wheel had pulled a bit of the arch out due to it being uh, the wheel sizes are too wrong, basically. Okay, folks. So let's have a look. Just Hello folks, well that was a funky day and that garage was acting in a very funky way hence all this weird electrical interference that was going on in the vid you can hear it was well, well strange and the camera kept going off and on of its own accord without any noises to say that it was on or off because it normally tells me it'll bleep to say that it's on or off I never got any of that so you missed some footage but what you did miss was basically the roller at its final position which is basically that and then the actual result which was you know the end of the vid isn't it so this is a bit of a pants video because it never got finished uh, due to a uh, spooky interference mm. but i'll have a look at the footage and uh, see if there's any orbs on it or, or as we call them dust but you know for those uh, ghost detectives out there i'm sure you can have a good look and uh, See if there's many orbs floating around. It's probably what's causing my interference. They didn't want me doing arches. Probably thought it was too dangerous. Um, but yeah, so you can um, clearly do your arches yourself if every, if anyone's interested in figuring out how to do it. It's really not hard to do. It's just about being patient, that's all. Don't over tighten because you'll deform you. Will you stop you? Stop it. It's always attention seeking, this dog. Yay. Um, what was I say? Yeah, if you if you do too quickly, you'll deform your arch. Yeah, and you don't want that. So just go slow, get nice and warm, not boiling hot or hot. Just nice and warm, so that so you know there's a bit of warmth in it. Keeps the paint nice and soft, so when you do roll it, it doesn't split the paint. Um, because that's the only concern of rolling arches really. And then just slowly, slowly catch your monkey, and eventually you'll get it from going like that, which is the lip. And you'll just fold the lip back up on itself which is basically what you're trying to achieve and then jobs are good it's all done so on that note i'm going to get off i apologize if the vid seemed a bit boring um because there's there is other rolling arch vids out there i don't know what this dog is doing what are you doing i'm trying to finish this vid you know what i mean i'm trying to finish the vid you go and lie down do anything to get on camera you yeah go on pull it off so oh i'm gonna have to go because the, the dogs are look at look how am i supposed to record this go away go on good girl look it off jesus oh here's another one so like i'm not gonna finish this bit am i bloody dogs oh i'm getting off i tried my best i hope it was informative enough and you learn something that, that's all that the vids are about uh, if you're new to the channel like and subscribe and share not that you'll probably want to share this bit because it's boring but you know i try to be best and i'm trying to f I'm, shut up i'm trying to find things to do because i've run out of cash so finding things that i think you might be interested in doing yourself and just learning how to do it or what I'm doing to the Mazda, blah, blah, blah. I thought you might be interested, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, as, for the as for the future of the Mazda, I want to go wide arches. So that's going to be the next thing. Wide arches with some wheel spacers. I'm going to kick it in, and then hopefully we'll start on the respray. So that's, that should be quite good. And we'll go from there, and then she should look boss after that. She should look sick! and uh, have a nice low stance but without scraping its ass on the floor so on that note i'm getting gone it's been a pleasure as always and um, i shall see you again very soon cheers for tuning in bye for now mm.